shine your shoes and wear a suit You can comb your hair and look quite cute You can hide your face behind a smile One thing you can't hide is when you're crippled inside You can wear a mask and paint your face You can call yourself Well, now you know that your pet has nine lives. Nine lives to itself. You've only got one, and dogs bark they fun. Mama, take a good look outside. You can go to church and sing a hymn, and so on. Okay, so that's the actual uh, verses and the um, chorusy bit. Okay, so the introduction. I'll just show you the quickly the introduction. Basically, I'm playing uh, the first fret of the second string and the second fret of the fourth string, and I'm just going picking those two together. I'm using my pick on the fourth string and my finger on the second string, and then I'm hitting the third string open with my pick. So. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going up to the fifth fret as, and I'm doing the fifth fret on the fourth and fifth fret on the second. Same thing, picking the two together and then picking the third string open with a pick. Okay, so it's going down to the third fret on the fourth and the third, the uh, second, sorry, th uh, fourth, uh, this, third fret of the fourth string and the second string. I'm doing the same pick, double pick, and then hitting the third string open. Okay, so it's. And then basically I'm sliding from the third fret up to the fifth fret, then back to the third fret. Okay. Hitting the first one again, first on the second and second on the fourth together, and then the third string open. So, so far. Okay, do that slowly. Okay, and then we do this. So that's the third fret on the third and the first string, double pick, then we move to the first fret on the first string and the second fret on the third, so then we form a C shape, chord shape, and we double pick the third string open and the first string open of the C, of the C chord, then hit the second string of the C chord and the open third. So that is okay. So so far, okay. And then we go to this, and that's again. It's first on the first, and together with the um, second on the third, and we pluck those together, and then hit the. Uh, third string on its own. So, then we move up to the third fret of the third string and the first string, double pick, hit the third again, so, and then up to the fifth fret of the third and first string, do the same thing again, double pick, hit the third string again, so, it's, We move up to the sixth fret on the first string and the seventh fret on the third string, double pick, hit that third string again. Okay, so and then work our way down back to the fifth fret, double pick, third string, third fret, double pick, third string pick, 
and then and then just pick those two uh, first on the first and second on the third and then just form like an F shape okay so it's two together and then the second string and then the third string of the F shape and then we into the C chord so it's that sort of thing it's third on the uh, third on the uh, fifth string of the C chord strum and then the sixth and then the uh, third on the sixth strum C chord I, I tend to use that four fingered C for this so fifth string third fret strum C chord and then the six on the third six string third fret strum alternately okay so the whole intro from from start is slowly okay sorry let's do it again When, when he's on the record he's got a sort of a, a very quick echo uh, sort of um, coming back at it on, on the sound so which uh, obviously makes it a lot, sound a lot more complicated than it actually is okay sort of a, anyway so, so we can't do it on the acoustic unless you've got an echo box on the end of it <laughs> okay so anyway do that once more the intro once more okay Thing. Now this time we're, we're hitting the third F chord like that. I'm using the. You can use a bar chord if you want, but I don't need to. Just a, a normal F shape with the third on the fifth being covered as well. And then it's the same thing. Fit the third on the fourth strum, and then the third on the fifth strum. Okay. So C. You can shine your shoes and it is fine. F. Back to the C. You can hide your face and in the smile. Now, so when you get to that smile, so it goes. You can hide your face behind the smile. Bum, 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 bum. Smile, bum. So as soon as you get to that smile, you can hide your face behind the smile. Bum, 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 bum. A seventh. So that's a, a rundown. Third on the fifth, second on the fifth, first on the fifth, open fifth into a seventh. Okay. So as you, you can hide your face behind a smile, bum 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 bum. Wanting any D seventh, wanting you can hide G seventh. Is when you're crippled in C side. Okay. So let's go through the whole verse again. So from the intro goes into a few strums on that, on the C, okay? Right, here we go. You can shine your shoes and wear a suit. You can comb your hair and look quite cute. But to see, da 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 Smile, ba 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 One thing can hide, D7 to G7 is when you put wood inside. Now then, what happens then is basically when you get back to that crippled inside, I'll play that. So it's basically a, from on this C, you're playing the second on the fourth, first on the fourth, open fourth, and then the C note, third on the fifth. Okay, so. And then we do a climb back up again, third on the sixth, open fifth, second on the fifth, and then to the C chord again, into the next verse. Okay, so that's when it comes out of that last line where it goes, when you're crippled inside. Okay, got that. So we'll 
we'll do that really slowly, right? So here comes um, the first verse really slowly, okay? So you can tie your shoes and wear a suit. You can comb your hair and look quite cute. You can hide your face behind a smile, blah, blah. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the whole verses repeats again, second verse is exactly the same. And when you get to the end of the second verse, where it goes, um, and you're crippled inside, you do that one, and then you immediately go, well now you know. Do another one of those rundowns from the third on the fifth, second on the fifth, first on the fifth, to a seventh. That's the, and this comes the middle section, or the bridge section. Well, so it's, well now you know that your cat has nine lives, baby. Okay, so just go through that So second verse now. Okay, so we do, uh, you can wear a mask and paint your face. You can call yourself. Seventh, nine lives to its G7 self. See, you got one, and a dog's life ain't fun. Mama, take a G7 look out, see, side. And then it, it does that. That one again. Okay, at the end of that. So that middle section is when it goes down from the second verse, and you know you crippled inside. Well, now you know that your pet has nine lives, baby. G7 nine lives to its G7 self. See, but you only got one, and the dog's life ain't fun. See, mama, take a G7th floor You can go to church and sing a hymn Okay, so that's that's everything onto the verse and the middle section sorted for you Okay, then the only other thing is right at the end of the song where it comes out of the last verse, okay, which is mainly the same as the uh, other two verses where it goes um, You can go to church and sing a hymn Judge me by the colour of my skin You can live a life until you die da, 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 da. But what it can hide It's gonna cripple inside So when you come out of that um, uh, middle of that uh, last verse where it goes, um, you can, um, you can get in, you die, bum 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 bum. One thing she said, put it inside, and straight away you go down again. One thing and again, put it inside, bum bum bum. Ending is basically a, a double pick, and it's, uh, it's a slide and a pick. So I'm sliding up from the third on the fourth to the fifth on the fourth, and then I'm plucking with my finger that's with the pick, that one, and then plucking the fifth uh, fret of the second string. 
down one to the fourth fret and do the same thing. So down again. And then what I'm doing. You can do that because there's various ways you can do that. So you can just hit that E second on the fourth if you want. And then you play a, uh, a C sharp ninth. Okay, which is basically fourth fret, barring of the first three strings. Uh, first finger, that's my third finger. Second, uh, first finger is on the third fret of the fourth string, and my second finger is going on the fourth fret of the fifth string, and I'm just going from five down to one. Okay. Should sound like that, and then just move it down to the C ninth, which is one lower. Everything moves down one fret, and that's the end chord. Okay, so you end up with if you really feel if you really feel um, good about yourself, you could try and bar the, the the sixth string on the third fret there as well. It's difficult, but I usually I usually just play the fifth string. So you, you can actually bar the with that one finger. You bar the fifth and the sixth string on the third fret. Then you get all six strings, but that's a bit tricky. So fifth fret will do. <laughs> okay. So that 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 outro again basically is that when you get into that bit that goes da 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 D seven da 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 G seven da 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 and then just repeat the rundown. When you're crippled inside, and again, one thing you can is when you're tripled in a sort of pause on the last G7 inside, and then just play the, the, one strum on the C, and then. I prefer, I, I, I say you could play that. That's quite good, and then just the C sharp ninth and the C ninth. I prefer myself is to do that. So it's so that's just basically a slide from the first fret on the fourth string to the second, and then the first on the fifth on the second string. So. Okay. And then play the C sharp ninth and the C ninth. Okay. So that whole last verse, just quickly to go through this. So, so you can go to church and sing a hymn. Judge me by the colour of my skin. You can hide to the die. One thing can hide is when you're crippled inside. Hopefully that will help play that song and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.